Welcome to Chief Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's may not be two minutes, but I'm absolutely sure you're gonna get something out of it. This is the second part of our series about acrylic, hopefully to answer a lot of your viewer questions that we've had over time. This one is specifically about acrylic mediums. Now, granted, we could do a two day workshop just about acrylic mediums. So this is going to be a very condensed kind of explanation about the nature of acrylic mediums and how they're intended to be used and how you kind of understand what you're looking at on the shelf. I am showing you a lot of products in the Golden Line because I feel like they do a really good job at explaining easily what it is that's in the jar or in the tub that you're looking at to try and get what you, the desired effect. So basically acrylic, if you didn't understand this already, is basically the binder in an acrylic paint is a fluid format acrylic plastic that then dries to a solid. Okay, so not necessarily fluid, but sometimes like a gel that's kind of like spackle or something like that, a uh, similar kind of texture. But what a lot of people get all freaked out about is that you can look at one product in golden and it can be named one thing you can look at the same equivalent product in windsor newton or somebody else uh, and it has a different name for instance like retarder okay this is an additive that you can mix in with your paint to slow the drying time of the paint while it's on the canvas. So this will allow you additional blending time, working open time. This is intended for use with traditional acrylic. Golden also has a specialty line called open, which means that the retarder is already built into the paint. And it's not necessarily like a traditional retarder. Open has the ability to stay wet and stay workable, meaning an increased open time for as long as you want it to be open. As long as you keep it in a cool kind of damp environment, it'll be open and workable and wet as long as you want. It isn't until you set it out in the sun or in a, in a warmer dry environment that the, the paint will dry evenly and beautifully and 45 minutes, you know, depending on the application, of course. But that's like what retarder is for. Um, so to answer that question, they can also be called, uh, the exact same um, kind of product can be called slow drying medium or, you know, various other names. And you just kind of have to become aware of what that product is called in the line that you prefer, okay? But they very often will have similar products that are named different things entirely depending on the brand and stuff. So I think largely that's the area of the most confusion. Golden has the kind of unique quality of um, offering their, their acrylic compound that serves as their binder um, in all kinds of formats, like in all the formats that they produce, um, you have access to. And they come in a very, very wide variety. So like when you see this GAC, that means golden acrylic compound. That means that the acrylic that is in this bottle is the binder that they use for fluid. This one is also their fabric painting medium and I love it a whole bunch. I use GAC 900 for all kinds of things. I don't necessarily always use it on fabric, but I can if I want to. So it's an extremely fluid format. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So we're gonna, so you can see there exactly like what that looks like. Now, what freaks out a lot of people about acrylic mediums is that some people think that they have to have an entire lineup of fluid acrylics to work in a fluid format and they have to have an entire lineup of like heavy body acrylics if they want to work in pasto and you don't the nice thing about acrylic is that you can change the the consistency of whatever paint that you prefer to whatever consistency that you want so let's say that primarily you work in a heavy kind of thick buttery and pasto format but this time maybe you want to do a little bit of layer the, the addition of just this one product will allow you to do that. So I'm going to get a little bit. This is primary cyan. Okay. I'm going to put that down here and I'm going to take my little palette knife and I'm going to mix it with this fluid here. Okay. And so now we have a completely 
fluid acrylic right here in just a couple of seconds and we don't we don't have to buy this second line up here okay now what if we want to go the other direction let's say that most of the time we work fluid okay so we have a whole collection of fluid acrylics but we want to go the other direction and we want to thicken them up and we want to put some really peaky highlights in or something like that so all right, and we're going to take it and we're going to put a smidge down. You can see that it is a neat fluid. It is not like watery fluid, but it has got a good little bit of heft. All right, then let's say that we wanted to make it super, super thick with like peaks and everything. We have uh, golden extra heavy gel mat. And what do we mean when we say that? It's extra, extra extra heavy um i'll show you what i mean here heavy it, it's like going uh dq buddy if we wanted to take this from a fluid format and we want to change it into a thick paint you would just mix like so and you will notice that you don't get a lot of color shift like a lot of people think that when you mix your color with me tons of mediums that you're going to lose um a lot of the color intensity and you can see that we mix pretty much equal parts fluid um over here with our medium and then we had a pretty much equal size quantity of our fluid paint and they're pretty much dead on the money the same so you can see that you can easily move between fluid and between heavy body and one of the interesting things about this it says very thick matte acrylic medium okay so you you can see that we have even when we mixed it with that fluid we've got thick buttery peaks as much as you could ever want and the other indicator here that you want to be aware of with my nice blue finger as a, a lead here um, is matte that tells you that when this is dry um, that you will have a matte finish on the surface of this paint um, that is on your canvas now there is satin and there is gloss and all that kind of stuff so if you want to change um, to something else um, to where the, the the surface dries differently you just shop for an extra heavy gloss whatever you want they do have just heavy gloss which is just a little bit less peaky and stiff than this um, and you can shop whatever varietal you're looking for they have just about every kind of thing under the sun for instance here is a clear granular gel i'll show you what this is so this is an acrylic polymer that has clear plastic granules in it and so we can take just a little tint of um the blue fluid paint and we can you can hear it's got the little granules in there. So for added texture uh, to what you're doing, you could use a product like this. They have ones with pumice. They have ones with little pieces of red plastic that look like rubies. They have glass. They have all kinds of different stuff. And with just that easy mixture, you have not only um, a really viable um, peaky paint, but you also have the benefit of some texture in there too. Um, so they have a million different varieties of stuff like this that you can use to mix with your paint to change the consistency, to change the behavior, to change uh, the surface quality of it. Leveling gel is if, let's say that you um, want to make sure that you don't have any kind of lap lines or brush marks in your work, a self-leveling medium will make sure that when your paint dries that you don't have lap lines or brush marks in your paint. All of these things are just a myriad, just a small fraction of all the things that are available out there. Um, I also wanted to show you like fiber paste. Uh, this one is interesting because it has paper fiber in it. Some people like to use this to um, 
do watercolor on actually. So let's mix just a little bit of this in there. Just one drip will do you. It's really, really concentrated. So this one has another kind of unique texture to it uh, because it has pieces of fiber in there. And so it has a totally different kind of drying quality. You can also get a really interesting peak, but you can also, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it in here, but it has like paper fiber in it. It has its own unique behavior and texture when it dries and stuff like this. There are things for days. I mean, we literally could, I could make you paint daubers until you just want to cry. But it's really for you to experiment and play around. Don't be afraid with our 365 day return policy. Hey, you could try it. You might love it. If you don't, send it back. We are all about supporting your interest and you trying out new things. So definitely take a look at um, all of these kinds of products if they interest you. We're here to help. Customer service is here to answer questions. So please feel free to send us your questions, uh, chat or call in. But this just kind of touches on just a little bit about the whole world of um, acrylic mediums to kind of help answer your questions. Tune in for our last segment um, that's called Present, and we're we'll be talking about finishing with uh, products for um, acrylic. So thank you, and we hope that you enjoy. Thank you.